Everyone has already used adhesives, at home, at school or at the workplace. We wanted to have a look at how such an adhesive is produced. The raw materials which adhesives are made of are delivered by large tankers. In the factory, the raw materials are pumped into underground tanks. These we could not see. But how the draining of the tanker works, we can see here. This is a reactor, a large container in which the raw materials for the adhesives are mixed together at the perfect temperature. The liquids which flow together here are not sticky at all. Only when the mixing ratio is correct, the elements connect to long molecular chains. This is called polymerization. Only the one who knows the secret recipe of the ingredients is able to produce a synthetic material in the reactor, which is very sticky. A part of the mixture has to dissolve in the air if one wants to use the adhesive. Only then the adhesive can become hard. The mixing and polymerization processes occur automatically in the reactor. The skilled workers have to check permanently if the reactor functions well and if no disorder arises. When the adhesive is finished, it comes into quality control. Here in the laboratory, many properties and of course the adhesive's power are checked. Then the glue is used, like you do at home. Here, little wooden plates are stuck together. We need such laboratory devices so that the bonding process is exactly verifiable, as well as the pressure which with the adhesive surfaces are pressed together, and also the time in which the adhesive hardens. After a defined period of time, the glued wooden plates are going to be fixed in the tensile tester. The laboratory technician has a computer to make controls. The tensile force increases until the bond breaks. If the adhesive has passed all the tests, it can be filled into the tubes. Here the already finished and printed tubes are being delivered and controlled. There are imprints in several languages depending on the country which the glue has to be filled for. Now it is the turn of the filling machine. Each of these empty tubes already has a screw cap. Therefore, the glue is filled from behind. Thereby, each tube has to be turned into the right position. We can see that here. Here the adhesive is being filled. Thereby, always exactly the right amount of adhesives get into the tube. At this station, the tube is being closed. The experts call this folding process. The thin sheet metal is being bent and then pressed together. Each of these tubes is now filled and gets closed. The screw cap was already attached on it. The folding box is still missing. Here the packaging is still completely flat, but the packaging machine can open the folding boxes automatically. Yes, even the closure of the box top is done by the machine. Here the tubes are being pushed into cardboard boxes. But the packaging goes further. First into plastic film. And then into cartons. The stable cardboard boxes protect the colorful boxes from dirt and damage. Finally, each parcel gets an adhesive label, on which we can read what exactly has been packed. In the warehouse, many cardboard boxes are peeled up on one pallet. And plastic film comes all around so that nothing falls down. Now it's time for the shipping. The pallets are loaded into a lorry and thereby gets into trade. Sometimes up to China, South America or even in a shop in your street.